Hi guys, I am Stephen Two Cat Media, and welcome to another video. Well, welcome to the channel in general. Welcome, my friends. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this. What's inside the box of the HS175D? Now, don't try and work out what the letters mean. Um, we know that the HS is Holy Stone, but the 175 and the D, the numbers of the letters, don't ever try and work them out. You will send yourself into a tiz, trust me. Now, initially I thought, well, the 700D has got fixed legs, and I think I saw another one ended in D that had like legs. So I thought, okay, so the D must stand for something like, I don't know, legs. Um, and then I saw the 700E, which is basically the 720E on legs. Um, I thought, okay. Now, I do know that the E apparently stands for the EIS, or image, uh, Electronic Image Stabilization, I believe. Uh, but then you see this, this is the HS175D, and it's, well, legless. Okay? It's drunk. It's legless. Okay, so, anyway, regardless of that. Uh, so this is the HS175D, so thank you Holy Stone for sending this out for my perusal and review ability. I appreciate it very much. This is not sponsored by them, but they sent me out a free gift and I'm going to review it for my own content and also be as honest as I can, as I do with anything, okay? So if it's a bad drone, I'll review it. If it's a good drone, I'll review it. You know, you know the score, okay? So... Today's episode, we're going to look at what's inside the box. The drone, we'll unfold it, have a look at the battery, the transmitter, the specifications, all that kind of business and jazz. We'll have a look at that, okay? Uh, so that should be quite interesting to have a look around and look at some of the different quirky aspects of it. And in the next episode, just so we don't have one big, long, massive episode, we'll look at the app, the connection, and connecting it to the app, as well as regards I can with the uh with a, a Google phone. And we'll also look at the features of the app and also the gyro calibration as well. And maybe even look at the uh, propeller replacement and, and the best way to kind of do that as well. And in the third episode of the series of the HS 175D, uh, we'll do a test flight, you know, we'll test out uh, maybe some of the features of the app. And also as well, we're doing unedited in the sense of there'll be no colorization, etc. We'll just do an unedited. I think it's something like, uh, without looking, I think it's like a 2K or 2.5K uh, camera uh, and a 4K um, photos. And I, I think 2 or 2.5K video. Okay, so we should be okay. Uh, I'm presuming that the stabilization is not going to be the best, but we don't know, do we? So I'm going to give it all the benefit of the doubt. But that's all to come in the second and the third episode. And before we crack on with looking inside the box, do me a big favor, click the like button, give it a big, big thumbs up, and also go and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And you too, my friend, can be part of the exclusive, yet elusive, community that is, to Cat Media. So let's crack on and see what's inside the box. Hello, so this is what you get inside the box, okay? Now inside of here, which I'll show you in a moment, inside this protective case, uh, I'll just show you these while I've got them out. You get a pack of spare propellers and a few screws there. You hear that? Let's put them to side. You get a screwdriver with some screws as well. I'm not gonna open them up. You get two charging cables. It's supposed to be USB free compatible, apparently. And this is where you connect your battery and that's where you plug it into your power outlet, such as a USB charger, uh, a power bank or a laptop. And you get your instruction manual as well in English and Dutch. Okay, Dutch, there we go. And you can see here the list of contents here. If I just show you that, you can pause that and have a quick look. And as we flick through here, it's got lots of disclaimers, safety guidelines. It's got a package of contents. You'll see here you get a the drown, the transmitter. It says one battery, but you actually get two. Uh, you get one USB charging cable for your transmitter. It says here you get one USB charging cable for the battery, but in fact you get two. You get eight spare propellers, it says there. Uh, one screwdriver and the, this instruction manual as well. And it's definitely well worthwhile, definitely looking through this book and attaining some information. Now, if ever you do lose the manual, then take note of this. There you go. Save this video for later 
And these are the QR codes for the app, which would be the HS GPS V5 app. Okay, and it's compatible with iOS 8 or later and Android 5 or later too. Okay, so let's just put that down for one moment. Okay, so let's open up this case and see what we've got. It's a very nice case actually, a nice kind of Demon feel to it. Nice grey, nice sturdy handle, quite protective as well. Nice, not too bad at all. So let's open this up and see what we get inside. You do actually get this protective bit of foam here, like you did on the um, on my other ones, like the HS720E. And you see there, I mean, it's relatively, it's enough just to stop kind of any kind of uh, damage, scratches, etc., to the uh, transmitter, etc. Let's just close that up. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. Okay, so this is what you get inside the box. I'll just put this up here, so we will need one of those in a moment. Okay. So inside the box, you get your drone. You get your spare battery. There's a battery just there, you can see. That's the battery at the back of the drone. You get your a cable to charge this transmitter. And of course, you get the transmitter. Okay. So first of all, let's have a look at the battery. Okay, so the battery is here. You'll see on the side of the battery here, if I can show you, it's a 7.6 volt, uh, 1700 milliamp hour battery. And it's a LiPo battery as well. Uh, they take about 150 minutes to charge from empty according to the specifications, which is about 2 hours and 20 minutes, I believe. Okay, so not too bad, actually. And you get this charging cable. You get I got two. It says one in the in the contents, but I got two. I don't know if that's a special thing for me or if everyone gets one, let me know in the comments down below. Now you see here, this is your battery. Just remember that the button is the bottom of the battery. Okay, there we go. And then the elements there, the contacts there are the top of the battery. So what you wanna do is you just wanna grab this connector here and you just wanna literally, it just clips onto the side of the battery. It comes off pretty easy and it goes on. And then you just want to kind of push it all the way up until it clicks in there. And then you can plug this into your laptop, power bank, or USB outlet. And it takes, like I said, about 150 minutes to charge from empty. It does have a green glow, I believe, or a, a flashing green on, on this when you plug it in. And it also then either stops flashing or disappears when it's charged. I can't remember which one it is, but it's one of those two as well. Either way, it does indicate on here when it's finished charging. So that's uh, definitely worth knowing. So let's just take that off and put that out the way. And we'll put that back in here for safe keeping. Okay. So next up here, we have the drone. Now the drone itself is actually, when it's unfolded, is a very similar size to the DJI, the, G, the DJI Mini 2. It's actually a fraction longer and a little bit thinner, but it's on the same kind of size, okay? Now with this, you can unfold it either way. You can do the top first and the bottom, or you can do the bottom first and the top. So one doesn't get caught on the other. So that's absolutely fine. Now when it's folded up, if I just fold it back up and just show you how easy it is just to fold up. Uh, the sizes on that are uh, 14 and a half centimeters in length, I believe, by nine centimeters wide and six centimeters high. And then when it's folded out, as I'll do now, it should be, and I believe this will be up to the tips of the blades of the propellers. So from there to there, will should be about 36 centimeters, I believe. And then from the width of it from there to there will be about 30 centimeters. And then when it's unfolded as well, it's about seven centimeters in height. So it's a nice little size there. Okay. Uh, next up as well, you have the power button just here. And you have four little mini LED lights, which glow green. And that's your battery level indicator, which is this one. Okay. To turn it on, all you've got to do is literally press it and hold it for about half a second, and then you get some beeps and some flashing lights. Okay, so let's do that. There we go. So there we go. And then if I just flip it over, you see it's flashing kind of like a yellowy green, and that indicates that it's just not paired at the moment. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that off, but you will see here before I do, you'll see here that we've got four 
green LED battery lights as well. So I'm just going to turn that off just so we don't get epilepsy. Okay. I will file this up actually just so it's a bit easier to kind of maneuver. Okay. Okay. So that's the top of it. Now on the bottom here, as I showed you, we have the battery. Okay. So that's the battery. And you just press this button here. Okay. And then grab the top, press the button and just gently pull out. It can be a little bit difficult at first to do, but it does come out, okay? I'm sure it'll get a little bit easier the more you push it in and out, okay? No, no rude thoughts there, okay? Now you pull it out and you just get a little bit tighter when it gets about midway and then it just pops out at the end. And that's the inside look of the fuselage. You can look there. You see you've got the, the contacts up here. There you go. And then when you put the battery back in, just make sure the contacts and the contacts are at the top and the buttons at the bottom. So I just pop it in like that and push it all the way in until it clicks. And give it a little extra push just to make sure. Okay. You've got your motors on your arms as well. These are brushless motors as well. So very, very good. Now the battery itself, uh, we've already looked at the battery. Uh, like I said, it does take 150 minutes or 2 hours and 20 minutes to charge. And it is a 7.6 volt, 700 milliamp hour LiPo battery okay now the battery itself is supposed to last about 23 minutes in ideal outdoor conditions uh but the reality of that is probably going to be around 19 to 20 minutes of continuous flight uh presumably but you know we will we can test that out in the third episode okay so let's just flip this upside down here we have the optiflow sensor here for either when you use it indoors or uh, up to 20 meters outdoors. And that's just to get a more, a more accurate uh, kind of location as well, okay? Obviously it's gonna be affected over water and more mirrored objects and certain colors. So just always be careful about that. Uh, these are obviously your pads here, as you can see. So these are like your little landing pads. And you get two on the uh, back arms here and you get two on the bottom as well, okay? Now just here you have your SD symbol, your SD card or your TF card. It's exactly the same thing, so don't worry about that. And then just inside there you'll see that's where the SD card goes. Now apparently it takes up to a 64 gigabyte maximum. I'm sure I've heard this before about other drones, but they and they can take up to 128 gigabytes. So I will test it out for you. It may be in the second one or the third one episode, and we'll see exactly what it can do. Now it's, it does say on the um, on the specifications that and on the features that it's a 4K camera, and indeed it is. But it's a 4K photo camera. Okay, that's just a that needs a bit of a clean there. It's a 4K photo camera. So it will store 4K quality photos onto both the SD card or the mobile device, if you haven't got an SD card in there. And then the videos, uh, the camera goes from zero to 90 degrees up and down. Uh, and the videos are 1080p uh, saved to the mobile device. And also, and I think it's like Blu-ray quality, like 15, let's have a quick look at my notes here, 15, 12. Okay, 15, 12. So I think that's like Blu-ray quality, I believe. Um, and which is, and that saves that to the SD card here. Okay. I mean, overall on first impressions, it looks like a decent enough drone. Obviously it's not gonna have the same kind of quality of the more premium brands, uh, but I think it's gonna be quite fun, hopefully to drive. I don't know exactly what that means there, this little zero here, as you can see, I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be. Uh, so let's just put this back here for now, okay? And then we have our connection cable. So this is our USB, and that connects to this transmitter to charge it. So in other drones um, of Holy Stones drones like the HS720E, oh, I've just knocked the table there. Uh, you have a, a built, yeah, but you put your batteries in the bottom basically. This has got a built in battery, which is a lot better, a bit like the DJI, okay? Now to charge it up, you open up these little handles here, which you hold. And in, on the right hand side there is where you plug this little cable to charge it. It takes about 60 minutes to charge it. And uh, from it is a 3.7 volt, 380 milliamp hour LiPo battery inside. 
and it takes 60 minutes to charge from empty. Now to turn it on, you can lift this up here just so you can see inside and you've got a little LED light there and this is your power button. You just press it once, you just some flashing and then when you pair it up, it will stop flashing. Okay, so we just turn that off for now. Uh, this is where you put your phone. You're not going to be able to fit a tablet in here, but you will fit quite a decent rip phone, I would say. Okay, let's try and fit you in there. Ooh. Okay, uh, so that's there. It's quite got a nice click, quite sturdy. So you've got three buttons here. So the first button is to for auto takeoff and land. So the one key takeoff and land. Uh, the next button here is for headless mode. And then this one here is your return to home, your GPS return to home. And that'll take effect if either A, you lose connection for 10 seconds or more, uh, if you get like a low voltage battery uh, issue and it will return to home as well. Or if indeed you press the button, okay? Uh, these are your controller sticks. It comes as mode two, which means this is up and down and spin left and right. And that's to go forwards and backwards and bank to the left and to the right. Now you can change it as it tells you in the manual as well. So you can swap these two over to mode one, but most people will use it as mode two, I presume. Okay. And on the top here, you have some buttons. Let's just close that down. You have your button. So this is your video button here, and that's to take a photo. So you just give it a little press and it will take your video and save it either to your mobile device or to your SD card. And this one here will take at one press will take a photo. Now, if you are if you do press it to take a video, please make sure that you press it again to stop it before you turn the drone off. And do not press and take a photograph as that can interrupt your video as well. So just be very careful about that. So press that one to start it and to stop it, and always stop the video before you stop turn off your drone. So don't go and press. Uh, there and, and, and turn it off because you will potentially lose your footage, okay? And this one here, take a photo. So if you wanna take a photo and you're recording, just press that to stop it and then take that to take your photo and then continue to record from that point onwards, okay? On here, you have your camera up and down buttons as well. So that will just make this little uh, camera here just zoom all the way down to here to a 90 degree angle and all the way back up and anywhere in between. Let's get to there. So that's for that. And on the back here, which you can almost miss, is your antenna. Okay, so this is the connection between this and that. So this connects at 2.4 gigahertz, okay? And this will give you a maximum range without the app of 500 meters or uh, I, I did write this down, or uh, 1,640 feet, okay? So this controller connects to the drone at 2.4 gigahertz, which all phones should be okay with, but you don't need to worry about that because this will connect to that via this little aerial here. Just make sure you're pointing at it while you're flying, and that will connect at 2.4 gigahertz. Now, once you've got the app installed and you've put your phone into there, uh, the camera connects to the live feed on the app, uh, which it, it gives you a, a 720p quality image at the time of the live stream, at the very least, at 25 frames per second. And that will connect to 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, okay? Now, it's not a 5G, so you don't need a 5G phone. A 5G phone is the faster internet slash broadband, okay? Uh, but most modern phones do have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Uh, some older or some cheaper phones may not. So if you're not sure and it's not connecting and you can't uh, find the connection or you're having trouble, then sometimes it's best just to um, check your phone on, the, on Google and just to see uh, if your phone is 5 gigahertz compatible. So that is basically what you get in the box. Overall, it's not a bad looking drone. It's decent, it's very easy to unfold. Uh, you know, it's a nice little size, about the same size as a DJI Mini 2 or the Maverick Mini. Very, very nice indeed looking, it's decent. I believe these will be little lights, little flashy lights, which would be nice. And you get your little lights on the bottom as well. And they will obviously indicate uh, certain features such as low battery, 
etc so yeah uh, not bad at all now just very very quickly as well the features of this drone according to the uh, the the box and according to amazon etc is it has got a follow me mode which i presume it would be just this following the mobile device uh, instead of actually tracking it's got a circle fly around where you have to set the radius i believe as well it's got waypoint control but we'll see exactly how well that works it's got um optical flow which we saw on the very very bottom here okay um it's got brushless motors here which is uh, better more efficient and they last longer it's got the return to home as we saw on there it's got one key takeoff and land which we saw there it's got the headless mode for beginners it's got the altitude hold so when you do actually press this as well uh and you take off it takes off to about five feet in height and then it should hold there as well and no matter where you take this up or down to there you go it will stay at that height all being well okay it's actually also as well got two speeds uh, so it automatically starts off in the first speed which is the more beginner beginner friendly speed and then by clicking i believe it's this control this stick here uh it goes into speed two which is a bit more sports mode okay uh, and apparently it's got gesture control as well uh, as regards if that works or not well we'll see but like i said in the second episode we'll look at the features of the app we'll connect it gyro calibrator and maybe even uh, have a look at the propellers and how we would change those as well just for a bit of extra information and in the third episode we'll do an unedited flight in and i say unedited as in no color uh, corrections whatsoever just so you get a true uh, look at how good a quality the actual footage is so as again if you have enjoyed thumbs up comments down below and please subscribe to the channel and be part of the exclusive yet elusive community that is to cat media so until the next video my friends Stay safe Know that the ride or and drone on. I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Oh, Day we hustle, but the night we. Oh, Know that the ride or die. I...